How'd it work, doll? You've been giving trouble around these parts lately, haven't you? Getting real tired of it. Stupid bolt keeps loosening up. Nice try, Warthog. Anytime. Say when, say where. It just never stops, I tell you what. One breakdown after another. Oh yeah, John Deere. Crushing it, for sure. That's deep in there. Awesome. <laughs> well, at least I have the tools from the last time I blew a hose. I mean, it's the little things, right? So I have to figure out which function that is by reading this chart, which is conveniently backwards. And the news just gets better because it's actually a track function. That, you know what that means? That I gotta follow that hose by taking that panel off and going through the machine. You wanna know what logging's like? Have a look. It's all in my shirt. Hard to describe that grime. It's a combination of oil and dirt. There you go. That's my trophy. Man, look at my catch. I mean, look at this. Doesn't that look great? You see a slight wear spot here, but it's not even down to the wires, but you can see a crack. It is something you have to just accept if you're going to run older equipment. You will have to do absolutely crappy jobs like this. I've run a Valmet 415EX and I had to replace all of those track lines as well. I think by the time I stopped running it, it was about 17,000 hours on it. And this thing's right around 15, 16,000 hours. And it just seems like right around this point, uh, these Parker hoses, just crap out. A little bit cooler today. I'm gonna steal some of Rod's mosquito spray. Always gotta remember to pucker up before you hit your face because burning lips is never fun. Oh, it's still, still some crud up in there. It's in place. Should be smooth sailing from here on out. Yeah, putting that hose in was like wrestling an anaconda steak while doing a yoga plank. You did what? Because I was broken down, Rod went and cut some more. A lot more. He cut a lot more. So trees like this add up very nicely. I can make a lot of volume. Oh, my back though. Just gotta get out and walk a bit. It's a snapper. Bite the stick. Bite the stick. My stick just got shorter. This thing is uh, pretty large. So it's been hot recently. Like really hot. Like Texas hot. And uh, our machines are running a little bit warm. Well, mine specifically. I'm about 210 on the uh, the coolant, about 175 on the hydraulics. Ah, oh, it's getting a little hot.
feels like cotton. It tends to clog up the old radiator. Stuff's really thick in the air right now. When I grab it, it just kind of wants to smear right in. So I don't do this real often, but sometimes I need to file a chain because uh, all my chains are kind of dull. So I usually keep some chain files with me, just in case. And I uh, seem to have forgot my handle, so I cut myself a chunk of wood. This is a, iron, a piece of ironwood. This is great firewood, by the way. It's a handle for a man. It's a handle for a man, or is it a man for no handle? Or is it a handle for a man with no handle? I don't know. Whatever. Well, I could restore this and uh, maybe haul some gasoline. Okay. That's not going to hold gasoline anymore. all right this is a private sale so the landowner could probably whatever he wants to do with it but he could probably grind the stumps down turn it into food plots if he doesn't it's going to grow up very quickly again um, that's one of the misconceptions of logging is people think that once it's logged it doesn't grow up very quickly within a year it'll be so thick it'll be difficult to walk through it especially with aspen aspen grows very quickly yeah give it five years you won't even want to walk through it so my chain is dry there is dried wood on it that gives it that brownish tint so what this is is a check valve and this check valve sits right in there but there was this tiny, just this tiny piece of wood that snuck its way into the check valve and it was causing the oiler not to work correctly. Being that this is a manual system, I should be able to pump the bar and oil come out. Oh yeah. You know, I was just thinking this morning, I was ruminating. I was thinking, you know, last couple days, things have been going really well. I haven't had any breakdowns, nothing that I, too severe, 
and uh, it's about time for another hose to blow. And I was right. <laughs>